right, we got the box open. Here is the first insert. It's telling you how to plug it in and power it on. It says your games are going places. This is the power adapter box. Here is the power adapter. Pretty good length cord. Oh boy. Got a little excited taking that out, but uh, this is the Steam Deck instruction manual, looks like. And here it is. Okay. Got a cool logo, nice carrying case, very sturdy. It's got a band here and a, looks like another carrying case of some kind. I'll see what that's for. Cool white zippers. I always love white accessories. All right, so comes with a lock from Valve. And it looks like we need to cut this. Okay, I've got some angled cutters here. We're gonna go ahead and snip this. This is a cool tag valve. Wow, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought. Dang, this thing looks sick. Oh my God, this is not what I was really expecting. Wow, it's huge. Okay, here it is. Wow. Because the last handheld I had was the PSP. And I didn't really, really look at the specs on the Steam Deck. So I thought it was going to be kind of similar in terms of size. This is crazy. Look at this. Just to give you guys a size comparison, here's a 3090 Ti. And here's a Steam Deck. It's about the same length. In terms of width, no, but <laughs> same size as the cover maybe. All right, we've got trigger buttons, volume buttons, audio jack, power button, USB-C, probably a microphone, and speaker back there. Two triggers for your back fingers here too, that's really cool. I wonder if it turns on without charging. No, we need to charge it. And it comes with a cool Steam Deck microfiber cloth. I'm gonna plug this thing in and turn it on. All right, so I plugged in the Steam Deck. There's an indicator light here. I'm gonna hold down the power button. 